today I'm sharing something excited for the Halloween spirit. Last year I created Gary Floats, a character that we came up with a name for, and I thought it'd be fun to share a friend for that character. First I came up with the concept, and then I moved on to digital sculpting. And now this process didn't take too much time, but it was really understanding the idea of how I want this figure to feel and look. Here's a look at the render. Now that he's finished, I can send those files over to my computer and get it ready for printing. The printing process is really repetitive. First we take it to the slicer, we just make sure we set up supports in each area that need to be supported so we don't get any failures. Once I figure out the support system that I want to set up for this particular print, I can put it on a USB stick and send it to my printer. Wish me luck! Yes! The print is successful. I was really concerned about the way that this rib cage was designed and the way that I set it up on the printer. It's a little more intricate than what I'm used to making. Usually I'll get a couple shift lines in them, but today it looks really good. This ultrasonic cleaner will shake all that loose resin off. Then I'll remove these supports and scrub the rest of the resin off the back side and start sanding. This curing station will expose the resin parts to UV lights, which hardens the plastic. So it's really important to take the time and scrub all the gooey resin off. And now, everyone's favorite part, sanding. Let's make a mess. I ran into a little problem. As I was sanding the arms and trying to fit them into the rib cage, it snapped. So for the sake of this video and this piece, I'm gonna go forward by using some glue. This will keep it together and I think it'll work. Sometimes when everything is going right, you fear that something will go wrong and it can. It's the moments like these that matter the most where I can't lose my composure and give up. Now we can get ready to primer each piece and see what it looks like. I went ahead and assembled everything to make sure fitment is good and it's ready for paint. And one thing I did notice is he's leaning forward, which really concerns me. I'm gonna redesign it and kind of move his head back, that way it can counter any of that weight. A good reason for doing this is because I'm gonna be releasing a resin version that's gonna be hand painted. The last thing I want is for these to fall off people's shelves. 
I'm going to separate each rib from the spine. I think that'll also make it easier to sand and paint, but I could still use this model for the video. Finally, we get to lay down some paint. I'm using a color called Titan Buff that I diluted with some white and just a dab of yellow. That'll create a bone color that I'm looking for. When laying down this base color, I'm spraying the entire model and then I'll spray heavier in certain areas to create this highlight. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. I know there's a lot to cover and I'm still trying to figure out how to share that in an enjoyable way. So if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. Now we can move on to painting. This is part of the entire project that challenges me the most. It also can be the most rewarding. So let's try to have some fun and paint. <laughs> Now to add the final detail. All that's left is to glue it all together and we can see the final reveal. If you liked this video, check out my other projects I've worked on. I'm also planning on sharing some sculpting shorts. And if you want to see more behind the scenes content, visit the Fee Studio Patreon page. I share a monthly project for you to download and print just like I did in this video. So get ready to print another character patrons. Let's have a look at 
Barry Bones. <laughs>